Today on Toy Shiz, we're going commando. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, we are, to I'm excited. We're totally checking out the new 12 inch deluxe commando spawn from their Mortal Kombat 11 line, or let's just be honest, another way to get spawn on the shelves again, right? Win win. Mortal Kombat 11, not a toy, just FYI, none of these are toys, right? Wink wink. And you get a nice window box right there on the sides of the packaging. Commando Spawn, hold it up his Necroplasm Blast. And on the other side, just a simple Mortal Kombat 11 logo and a nice photo of the figure on the back side. Here's the barcode. Should be shipping out from Amazon and starting hit stores right around this time. So start looking for them. If you're after them, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, spawntastic cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn 12-inch deluxe figure by McFarland Toys. And here's everything taken out of the packaging. And this guy is cool. This is a cool looking spawn. Yes, I'm, I'm probably going to like this spawn because I like spawn, right? This thing weighs probably about 10 pounds. And if you're asking, as I said, it's more along the lines of a statue, but it has articulation points. So that puts it in the classification of figures. Most statues don't move around. Just FYI. But this is very reminiscent in some ways of older McFarlane figures while still retaining some of the new tech look style that they do implement nowadays with Spawn figures. But the boots are there, the big clod hopper boot. A lot of sh this things like handling a rose bush in some instances, spiky, pointy things, but there is a lot of paint. However, I would have liked to see McFarlane really go further with it. There is a nice wash to the cape. Everything is very texturized, very stylized, very much in the vein of Spawn. And I love the Necroplastic Blast right there. That's cool to have him. They're really getting more into that. Never was really a thing back in the day for Spawn figures, but lots of sculpted detail on this guy. Different look for Commando Spawn, a lot of body armor. The gun is not removable. See, that back in the day, that gun you would have been able to take out. A little bit more paint on the grenades and the bandoliers and all the straps would have been ideal, but they are rendered beautifully. The gun, it's also removable. It's not the best, but it's okay. You get a nice, huge stand for this, says Mortal Kombat on it. He does have peg holes on both. The boot really secures him as it is, so you don't really need the peg, but if you need it, yeah, go ahead and secure him. He does look good on the stand. Nice display piece for a man cave or a video game setup or something like that, but the face on this guy, the look, I love the look of the body armor. It's, again, something different. The gun, not removable. That's, it's such a bummer. Back, like I said, back in the day, that would have been totally something that you could remove from the holster. From the boots down to the hand, this little necroplastic blast effect is removable. He has a peg hole in his hand, which this has a peg on it, and he holds it nicely. Now again, this has very basic articulation to it. I'm glad it has some. You can change the poses up if you really wanted to. So you can spin the hand as well. The head kind of sort of moves, so you can look, get him looking a little bit to the left and then a little bit less to the left. <laughs> <laughs> in all honesty, heat the hand up as best as you can to put the gun in, or else you're not gonna, it's a very closed hand. The gun is not my favorite. I could have had a little bit more detail. That's another thing. The weapons, they always were so insanely detailed. I would have liked a big vacuum cleaner style spawn gun, but the boot will rotate as well. So you can change the position of that a little bit. This leg does not move at all. You can see the skull belt, everything. And he does have articulation to waist, so you'll spin him. Although the little markings of his costume won't line up when you change him around, but it is there. This figure really doesn't articulate that much. As you can see, if you're looking for a super articulated figure, definitely stick with the MK11 seven inch spawn or there is a new spawn line coming soon, so we may yet see a commando spawn in that line. With, let's say, the gunslinger spawn, the one that McFarlane made some years back, it is amazing, you know what I mean? That's an amazing figure. But you see the, the difference. They used to make them a lot bigger, a lot more details, a lot more 
attitude towards it. Not to say that this one isn't, but it feels like it and it doesn't at the same time. It's a little bit of a mixture of both, but it's a commando spawn. You gotta see the other little commando spawns that he's done over the years. This is not even really half of them. There are many different iterations of it. So it's like commando spawn and then commando spawn adjacent. Typically commando spawn has the face mask over his mask. <laughs> So pirate spawn totally counts. Don't even don't even worry about it. And then you have this from the covers sort of spawn. And then you got the desert sands sort of spawn right there. And the commando spawn in the back. I don't have the scorched earth one just yet of that variant. But it's, again, really cool to see just to kind of have spawn back on the shelf. And it's a cool looking spawn. Spawn fans think you'll definitely like it. Again, if you are really into articulation, no, this is not going to be for you. But if you really want a cool looking articulated statue <laughs> for your shelf, this is definitely it. He stands beautifully. He looks fantastic. A little bit of extra paint here and there. Not a big fan of the gun, but I love the necroplastic blast. Love how he holds it. And the cape is gorgeous. Everything looks cool on this guy. So if you're a fan of Spawn, no brainer. If not, no. This is a complete pass. But again, look for it on store shelves soon and from Amazon. And also thank you to McFarland Toys for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm curious to know your thoughts. Will you be grabbing? What do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything spawn. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep bringing the spawn, baby. I'm loving it. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.